Hello. I, I thought um, I'd, I'd try and make a bit of cash for um, probably special effect this year at um, the Lavecon convention. And uh, I have six nice little canvases, which I thought might not be too big for people to take away. And I was going to sell them. So I'm trying to do um, pictures that are really elite like, I don't know, a spaceship. And I thought this one is, um, this one's a planet and it's got a crater on it. This crater was found by uh, Commander Arundel's space. And he posted a bunch of pictures of it on Twitter that you can find. He says it, it's really deep in that outer trench. And he said it took him 10 minutes to get down to the bottom. It, it looks really weird. It looks like some sort of weird massive crop circle on the planet. <laughs> The planet's uh, Uchost MR-CDO, and it's on the sixth planet out. And it's that's uh, apparently it's a binary ammonia world, which actually makes it even more exciting because I, I like an ammonia world. Uh, you can tell uh, when you look at the picture at the end. You can tell the atmosphere is it's kind of like that kind of hazy blue, and then as you get lower down, it gets more and more soupy, and then you've almost got brown at ground level. I don't always look what the atmosphere is before I visit the surface and I get this experience of traveling down through the atmosphere and and it gets thicker and changes color which is one of the nicest experiences I think in the new update is the quality and the differences between the different planetary surfaces so uh, I mean ammonia planets from what I can see they seem to be enormously varied in the colors you can get you can get everything from like a, a dull greenish yellowish orange all the way through to that deep threatening red color when I when I was looking at this pictures I, I couldn't understand it how this planet appeared to have like a disc on top of the crater but then when I was drawing it, I was looking more carefully at the light and shade and so forth. I wouldn't expect the geological impact of whatever made that inner circle to raise the surface in an even way like that. It's more like the first crater must have had a large mound in it even, and then the second crater is, is flattened that mound out. There's a crater-like lip, a slight crater-like lip, and there's a depression in the centre of that inner crater. It's just not as extreme as the first crater. I'm assuming that a planet that's got an atmosphere, even if it's only quite thin, is going to be geologically active in the centre. So it, it, it could be the effect of the molten rock inside the planet forcing it out, and then it splattered it back down again. I don't know. I, I enjoyed doing it so much, I don't do tons of painting and I'm really enjoying the opportunity to do these dinky canvases. They're just an extreme uh, sort of luxurious self-indulgence uh, really and I, I can't think of a nicer way to uh, sort of pay tribute to the quality of the game than copying it. <laughs> That's what I do, I copy stuff. Never mind. <laughs> Bye.